we now present to you, Do Not Be Afraid. And they lived happily ever after. The end. That was a good one. Good night, Allie. Sleep tight. Wait, Mom. Yeah? Can you stay a little longer? You need to get some sleep. I know, but... What's going on, Allie? That book made me kind of nervous, and now I'm thinking about things I'm afraid of. What kind of things? Airplanes, bees, cats... Dogs, fires, ghosts, mice, nighttime, teasing, under my bed, worms, x-rays. Did you just list your fears in alphabetical order? Whoa. Yeah, so how do I feel better? I can't sleep when I'm scared. Well, maybe another story would help. Another story? Well, a different story. It's a story I like to remember when I'm worried or scared. You get scared? I sure do. Everyone feels scared sometimes, and this story, God's big story, is full of people who are afraid sometimes. You mean the Bible? You got it. You know what? I think we can have one more story tonight. Yay! Now this part of God's story is during a time when many people were afraid of many things, just like us. It all begins in Nazareth, a town in Galilee, with a woman named Mary. start over. Greetings, favored one. God is with you. Um, I'm not, I've not heard that kind of greeting before. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and so you are going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be great. He'll be called the Son of the Most High, and his, and his kingdom will have no end. Huh? But how can this be? How is this even possible? Oh. Hmm. I said, oh, who? The Holy Spirit. The Holy 
Spirit will come upon you. You and the Most High will overshadow you. So the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Oh, also, you relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby even though people thought it would be impossible, but nothing is impossible with God. Was all of that a question? Oh, hmm. Well, are you going to ask me if I want to do this? Good question. Uh, yes. I'm okay. (laughs) Yes, Samantha. (laughs) All right. Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your message. to God in the highest. I need to go see Elizabeth. Elizabeth, are you home? I'm coming in. Come on in, Mary. (laughs) Mary, you are so blessed among women, and the baby in your womb also blessed. The moment I heard your voice, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. Here, feel it. Elizabeth, I feel like I'm bursting with good news. God chose me, a lowly commoner of Nazareth, to be the most blessed woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. I'm talking about the God who knocked the powerful off their thorns and lifted up the lowly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, by the way, could I stay with you for a few months? Mary is pregnant? What? Who? Why? How? I don't understand. We aren't even married yet. The law clearly says that is not good. Not good at all. She claims that this child, the child she carries, is actually God's child. That's her explanation. My only option is to marry her and then divorce her quietly. That will save my reputation at least. But she'll be disgraced. Oh, Mary, I don't know what to do. I'm so afraid. <laughs> Ding. If I was, I don't know if I was supposed to say that. So. They did that night. Mary, no.
Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to get married. God's Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant. So everything's cool, everything's fine. Just take a breath. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus. God saves because he will save his people from their sins. Huh? Whoa, I need to marry Mary. I get to marry Mary. All right, we're going to have a baby, a baby, and we'll name him Jesus. And I'm going to be a dad. Oh, wow, I'm going to be a dad. I got to I got to start packing. Joseph packing a bag. Do angels still visit people in dreams? Who names a kid God saves? Why is everyone making such a big deal? It's just a baby. This story is so weird. I just... Yeah. I don't know the answer to most of those questions. This is a bigger than life kind of story, and there are a lot of unexplainable and miraculous parts. Sounds like what Pastor Becky says when I ask tough questions. Good. I'm glad I sound like Pastor Becky because we just don't have all the answers. Now, I do know the answer to one of those questions. Why is Joseph packing? But to understand that, we need to meet the emperor. of Rome, it is I, your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Light, Way, and Prince of Peace, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say you're welcome for all the great things I've done for you. There has never been an emperor as powerful and as glorious as me. My empire is vast, you people are all obedient. I am saving you all, all of you, and you owe me so much. So, very much. Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, let's get a good head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and register your family as a sign of appreciation for my very awesomeness. This is gonna be the best registration anyone's ever had. You're gonna love it. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know my magnificent ways. Farewell.
Okay. The good news is I found us a place to stay. Finally. It's with my third cousin. Great. Wonderful. Can I, can you just take us to the room, please? This baby is not going to wait much longer. Um, a room. Right. Well. What? Do we not have our own room? Well, kind of. Do we or don't we? We, ha we have a room, uh, a space. It's really, h how do I describe it? Joseph, this baby is coming soon. Is it a nice space? Oh yeah, it's a nice space. A really great private little space. Lots of hay. Hay? Maybe a few animals. <laughs> All right, let's do this. What? Why? I don't think I want to hear about the birth part. Hmm, okay. We can talk about that later. The Bible doesn't really tell us anything about the birth anyway. It just says that Mary had the baby and wrapped him in strips of cloth and put him in a feeding trough. That's it. But those are important details to remember for the next part of the story. It takes place in a field. A field? Yep. Doesn't sound very exciting. Oh, I think you'll like this part. Okay, you can keep going. Well, thanks. So, there were these shepherds living outside in fields near Bethlehem, watching over their sheep. Glory to God in the highest, do not be afraid. Oh. <coughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Hello? Anyone home? <laughs> Are you people even listening? I said do not be afraid. <laughs> I bring you good news. God. Them. Eh. I bring you good news. That... The cause, cause, great joy to all people. Today, in the town of David, You, Messiah, the Lord, is will be a sign. Mes I already read that one. To you, you will find a baby wrapped in clothes, lying in a manger. Good news for all people. The Messiah is born. A savior, good g g glory to God 
in the highest heaven and earth I think the peace among those who God's favor God favor favors that is all goodbye good gravy marie you all see that right ah. yeah yeah i did yep that happened ah. you, you, you want to head into town check it out probably better do we bring the sheep we probably better ah. Did anyone catch the directions? They said something about signs? Oh, I can't remember. My mind is blown. I can remember that. Let's go. You too, sheep. Come on. Oh. Good gravy, Marie. You all see that, right? Yep, a bona fide miracle. It was exactly how the angel had described. To a T. And I've seen some babies, but that baby, shoo. I don't know about you, but it feels to me like the world is changing. Why do you think we got to see it first? We're just a bunch of poor shepherds. I have no idea, but that baby's mom, Mary, acted like this was exactly what was supposed to happen, like this was meant for people like us. I think that baby is here to lift up the lowly. <laughs> and to bring down the rich and the powerful? Would that be something? It sure would. Hey, you see that star? Was that there last night? I can't say I've ever seen that one before. It'd be hard to miss. Is good. Hello, and welcome to our observatory. We are the wise men. Wise people. The magi. We are really more like scientists. Astronomers, we study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we see it. Immediately. And we just noticed a new star. Very, very, very true. Doesn't happen but we have found compelling records that have led us to believe that this new star, the brightest star in the sky, is a sign of a newly born king, a holy cosmic king, whom we must find to honor and worship. We now begin our journey. Are we there yet? You literally just asked that question. Now? 
Don't make me pull this camel over. Oh yes, look, we're here. We're here, there, there's the sign. Bethlehem, let's look up the local king. Oh, he'll be happy to help. Especially after he hears the good news, or the big news. Did somebody say king? I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody's talking about it. They all say I'm the most powerful, smart, and good-looking king Bethlehem has ever seen. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm a 34. Uh, yeah, thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Yes, we are looking for the newly born king. What king is this? King of the Jews. We observed his rising star. And we have come to worship and honor him. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yes, yes, one, wonderful. Would you excuse me for a moment? I, ne I need to make a quick phone call. Put me through to the smart people. Your Be quick about is it. Very important to us. Please hold. All operators are busy at this time. Please hold. Hello? Hello? Yes? 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 This is your king, the very best king I need to know. According to your Well, according to your research, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? Uh-huh. Oh. Hmm, Bethlehem, are you sure? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, hello again, hello again, wise folks. So, yeah, yeah, this, this is just super, super. Go on and find this child and pay him honor. And you get back to me about this right away. So, this is that I can honor him too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure, we can do that. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. When we left Herod, we had a bad feeling about him. That he was up to no good. He seemed scared, threatened, angry. And definitely not excited for the new king. But we were. Absolutely. We went on and we found the new king. Whose name was Jesus. And we brought gifts to this special child. We brought gold. Frankincense. And myrrh. Fancy gifts, usually given to royalty. Powerful people. Grown men, too. But we brought these gifts to a tiny, weak, oppressed child. Even though we didn't know exactly what was going on, we knew he was important. The, this good news would turn everything upside down. And we didn't return to that wicked King Herod. Nope, no way. We were warned in a dream to make a different way home. You might say we took the scenic route. And returned to watching the stars.
those wise people who are really brave, giving that baby gifts and then sneaking home without telling King Herod was he was. Yes, they were brave and determined. Everyone in this story was, I think, from Mary and Joseph to the shepherds and the Magi, they all recognized that the birth of Jesus was going to change the world. Allie, are you feeling safe and sleepy yet? Our story is coming to an end. Yes, I feel safe and sleepy, but this isn't really the end. It needs to be. You need to go to sleep. I mean the story. That's just the beginning. Jesus is born, he grows up, he changes water into wine, he teaches, he heals, he flips tables, he... Yes, yes, you're right. Jesus' birth is just the beginning. We have a lot to talk about, but it's late. Tonight, let's focus on this one special moment, this one night that brought us Jesus. Okay. It is a good story. God's story is unfolding more good news every day, and in the end, all things will be made right. Of course, that doesn't mean we won't be afraid along the way, but we can trust that love and justice will have the final word. Speaking of the final word, let's have a final word from Mary, the mother of Jesus. Okay. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you, God, have looked with favor on the lo lowliness of your servants. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For you, the mighty one, have done a great, thi great things for me, and holy is your name. Your mercy is for those who fear God from generation to generation. You, O oh God, have shown strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. You, God, have brought down the pow powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good, with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have helped your servants, your servant Israel, in re remembrance of your mercy, according to the promises you made to your ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah, and to their descendants forever. The end. Jada. Our very first instant Christmas program, Do Not Be Afraid, and uh, none of the actors, our prophetic players, had a script until yesterday morning. And uh, we practiced in two hours, and everybody took care of their part and had a good time with it. So on behalf, I would like to say a big thank you to all of our prophetic players.